Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Lawson's Car Reviews back again with another Challenger and I know it looks like the other one but it is different. This one is a 2020 Challenger GT which actually makes it all-wheel drive. So let's take a look at this and see how it's different from the regular RT. What's good you two? This hood is really light. Giddy up! So guys, looking at this car from the front, it looks just like the Challenger RT with the hood scoop, the little banana peel protectors down there that they actually say uh, to be removed. <laughs> but the difference is instead of saying RT, it actually says GT, which means this is an all wheel drive car. So it still has the same aggressive look from the front. And I love this paint scheme. This is called granite and it's kind of like a silvery gray. And these wheels also are a really nice looking aggressive wheel. Let me check the size. See what they are. So they're 235 55R19s. So they're not 20 inch rims like they was on the GT, but they're still very nice looking. The styling is pretty much the same as on every Challenger. Nothing really different about it, but you do have this symbol on the back, which is pretty cool, which shows that it's all wheel drive, which means that even though you have a muscle car, that this car can still get up and go in the snow. You're not gonna be stuck like all the guys driving Mustangs and Camaros. Everything else on this car is almost the same as it is on the RT or any of the other models, the SXT, like the one that's next to me. Uh, you've got the beautiful gauges. I really like the styling and the center console is all tilted towards the driver, which means it's a driver focused car. And I really like that about this vehicle. Steering wheel, as usual, the same Dodge awesomeness. And you have this little itty bitty compartment here. A human being that is as big as me. I am six foot four, um, but you can fit short humans <laughs> and uh, children back there. Now let's just take a quick look and see where it makes its money, which is right here. Look at the size of that trunk. The opening is quite large, much larger than the Mustang, much larger than the Camaro, and you can fit a good amount of stuff in this vehicle, which makes this very versatile, that's for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look under this beautiful hood, and let's see if this hood scoop is actually real or fake. Woo, look at that, hood struts. 3.6 liter engine, two, uh, no, 305 horsepower and 268 foot-pounds of torque. So it is slower than the competition. It is slower than the Mustang base model and the Camaro base model. However, as I said, you do get that all wheel drive system. So if you want a muscle car that can go in the snow, if this is gonna be your daily driver, your only car, this is the one that I would actually pick because it's gonna be way more versatile than any of those other cars. So the base price of this car, guys, is 34,000, but as it stands, this particular model is 37,000, almost 38,000. It does get good gas mileage at 27 to the gallon. Um, if you are gonna use this, as I said, as your only car, I would get this since it's all wheel drive, but if you are going to use this as a secondary car, I would most definitely go for the Camaro or an RT Challenger because then you're gonna get way more power and you're getting into that territory when you start looking at the fact that you're almost paying $40,000 anyway. With that being said, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and I will see you in the next one.